Hi, my name is Kevin Hurd. Um, I'm Associate Director of the GIS Corps facility. Um, I'm working with this project along with Pro Professor Frazier and along with uh, President Stenger on this upstate re revitalization initiative um, you know, funding. And we've focused on s several different sites. And one of the first sites we're looking at is gonna be the new pharmacy school. And so we're looking at potential gentrification among other neighbor changes. And my research, my research assistant here um, is building an interactive web map. And one of the major components for that is, is bringing in various sources of data, historic photos, um, looking at um, demographic maps, parcel maps, all different sources of data that can help us better understand that neighborhood and that study area around the new pharmacy school. So that in a nutshell is what it is. And this interactive web map is gonna be um, easy to use for other people. So anybody that wants to log in has easy, easy, easy uh, navigation to view these photos, view these maps, read the dialogue, um, see videos, and uh, I'll let uh, my research assistant here, UB, um, show a, a couple of the maps she's been working on. Hi, um, my name is Yue, this assistant of Professor John and Kevin, and uh, this is uh, ITC project I've done last semester. Um, you can see it's a time slider in the ActJS online. And we can um, show our two different times map in the same extent in the ITC area. Um, so uh, the time we use is 2002 and 2015. So we can see you can control the, uh, you can start in the control bar and you can uh, see the uh, building, cons uh, building structure at the same extent at a different time. Um, and also, this is a time crime, uh, crime time map I'm doing now. It's uh, for the pharmacy school project. We can see the crime, different kind, kind of crimes happened around the pharmacy school. And uh, you can also, by uh, sliding the control bar, you can see the different kind of um, crime happened at different time from the December 2015 to, uh, November, um, to December 2000, um, uh, I mean the January 2017. Showing us the time changes um, in the past and the future, and also uh, help us to protect the crime, uh, the crime happened uh, in the future. Yeah, that was a good summary of it. Um, basically, these are two applications that can monitor neighborhood change over time looking at historic air photos from one period to the next, or showing crime you know, data over time, how it could increase or decrease based on um, what changes have occurred in those neighborhoods. And we will continue, continue to monitor that um, after the pharmacy school is entrenched in the area, 2018, 2019, and into the